Welcome to this tutorial video on the MSA Lunar Connected Device. This video is a supplement to, not a substitute for, the documentation that came with your product, and it's available on the Help Portal. Make sure you read all the documentation before you use the MSA Lunar Connected Device. In this video, we're going to look at pairing Lunar with the MSA G1 SCBA. The Lunar device should only be paired to the G1 SCBA being worn by the user of that Lunar device. Failure to pair the two devices or pairing the Lunar device with the G1 SCBA worn by another user can lead to unintended alarm communications, including deactivation of the Lunar device's motion sensing alarm, communication being sent by incident command not being received, or being received by the wrong user. G1 SCBA or lunar device alarms not being received by incident command, or peering to come from a user other than the one experiencing the alarm, or incorrect alarm information being sent to searchers, which leads them to target the wrong lunar device in an attempt to locate the user in distress. Those are all scenarios you want to avoid. To pair the lunar device to the G1 SCBA, Use the RFID tag at the bottom of the lunar device. First, make sure the G1 SCBA is powered on and ready to read an RFID tag. Check the G1 SCBA's user instruction manual for more information. Then make sure the lunar device is powered on. Next, touch the RFID tag location on the lunar device to the tag reading location on the G1 SCBA. Also notice the Bluetooth connection indicator is now illuminated. The thermal imaging camera or tick display is the default lunar screen. From this screen, the configured tick palettes can be scrolled through by pressing the down button. If the lunar device is paired with the G1 SCBA, the status of the connected device can also be viewed as an additional screen. Once the lunar device is paired with the G1 SCBA, you'll receive the following additional information. Pressure remaining. Time remaining. G1 SCBA battery life. And other SCBA alarms. If the lunar device is not paired to a G1 SCBA, or if the connection is lost, the status screen will not be available. To change the Bluetooth pair settings that apply to lunar and the G1 SCBA, you'll need to use the A2 software and follow the instructions found in the G1 SCBA operating manual. The Lunar device is part of MSA's connected firefighter platform, designed for today's uncertain and unpredictable environment. You can stay connected in several ways. You can learn more about the MSA connected firefighter platform, powered by the Lunar connected device, by watching the videos at msafire.com slash connected firefighter or by accessing MSA's help portal. MSA's Lunar Connected Device is available through MSA's network of authorized channel partners. Or you can find out more about MSA's Lunar Connected Device by contacting your local first responder sales manager.